Frank Herbert published a novel in 1965 named Dune. This novel was adapted into a movie in 1984. The story takes place in the future and it is about the conflict between world leaders over a desert planet that is the only known source of the drug Spice. Oddly enough, they need this drug for interstellar space travel. The reason I bring this up is because right now there is a project underway called Dune, the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment. Amongst other experiments, it is being carried out by Fermilab. For those of you who do not know what Fermilab is, it is the mother of a little facility in Geneva known as CERN. I want you all to know that some of the information that I am about to share with you comes directly from Fermilab, directly from CERN. Of course, you're going to hear my opinion on this and then I am going to point something out. And at the end of this, you can form your own opinion. Folks, get excited because I'm going to discuss something that comes from one of the darkest chapters in the Book of Madness. Now, Fermilab, the long baseline neutrino facility, is located in Batavia, Illinois, just west of Chicago. Fermilab is a particle physics lab that's been around since 1967. Its purpose, to understand the secrets of creation, space, and time. They work with over 20 countries around the world and employ more than 1,700 engineers and scientists. This lab has seven particle accelerators and storage rings. The parent design for the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Now with all the crazy crap that's been reported going on around CERN, would any of you want to live next to this thing? I will bet that there are many people living in Chicago right now that do not know that this place exists. So what Fermilab is doing is they have begun executing their plans for the study of neutrino particles under Project Doom. I'm sorry, Project Dune. This is explained in great detail on their website. It is very complex, but this is what they do. They fire up their proton accelerator. Then they take protons and smash them against a target producing very short-lived particles. They then send those particles through a decay pipe or filter underground through a dune, a 58-foot tall hill so that they can arc the direction of the neutrinos that come out the under end of the pipe. They then beam these particles through the earth. No pipes, no tunnels, no wires, nothing. They just raw dog these neutrinos into the earth, folks, at an extremely high concentration. Now, because neutrinos travel in a straight line, and because the earth is curved or round, the dune, or the arc, is designed to direct the particles downward into the ground through the Earth's mantle so that they can reach the Sanford Underground Research Facility in South Dakota, 800 miles away, or 1,300 kilometers away. The neutrinos hit a detector at Sanford, and this will enable them to gain a better understanding of a neutrino's role in the universe, so they say. In order for Fermilab to legally do this, they need permission by the government, according to law. And they have it. In the form of a U.S. Department of Energy finding of no significant impact document. This is a document that can be found on Fermilab's website, and it basically states that the construction and experiments performed will have no significant impact on the surrounding environment and people. It does not state that these experiments will have no impact, it states that they will have no significant impact. In other words, these experiments are going to impact the surrounding environment and people. 
but not enough for anyone to notice. And the amount of pollution is below the legal limit, so they get the okay. And according to Fermilab's website, construction for the Dune project begins 2017. Now, I don't know why they're doing this, but it has been done before. Do you know where? CERN. Between 2010 and 2014, CERN used its particle accelerator to beam neutrinos underground all the way to Italy to a 760-ton neutrino detector named Icarus. You know Icarus, the son of Daedalus, the man who created the labyrinth. The same man who gave his son Icarus a pair of crappy wings to escape the island. And then he said he could not fly too low or too high, or he would die. Well, he died. And they've refurbished this detector. And I believe that it is already on its way to Chicago. Look at this photo. Why does this look like a scene out of Jurassic Park? What in the world is this detector that they are shipping across the Atlantic Ocean? Refurbished? Why not just build a new one? Why ship it across the ocean? Why does it have to cross the Atlantic? These may seem like silly questions, but I just want to get you thinking. Now, I want to point something out that I found interesting. Chicago is the third largest city in population in the U.S., next to New York and Los Angeles. And anyone that follows the news knows that they have been having some crime issues, and they have been ranking way above the national average of crime for quite some time. Could these accelerators be affecting the mentality and social behavior of individuals within range? Is the creation of this antimatter magnetically pulling the evil out of certain people who are close to it? If you look at a map of Geneva, Switzerland, where CERN is located, and you look at a map of Chicago, where Fermilab is located, they seem very similar. Also, the latitude coordinates of both Chicago and Geneva are very close. These two cities virtually line up with each other. And from what I understand, Geneva, Switzerland is not as safe as it used to be. Folks, they are messing with particles that they claim they do not understand. They keep saying that they want a better understanding, but yet they keep building these machines that in fact show that they have a pretty damn good understanding. Both websites use all this terminology and names throwing you around in loops of information, and you are petted on the head the whole tour. Both websites highlight children and their visits to facilities, giving you the impression that it is such a wondrous place because kids go there. Like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. And everything that they do there is quote unquote harmless. They have these animals there, they have bison, they have fishies, and ducks. Fuck them ducks. Are they really trying to con us with this crap? They are trying to control matter. They are trying to manipulate time and space. It says so on their website. Meanwhile, only a few miles away, people are going nuts. Go check out Fermi Labs and CERN's websites. They are quite interesting and quite revealing. Now whether or not you share the same beliefs as I do about what's happening in Chicago and what could happen once they start Project Doom, all I can say is that we need to start paying a little closer attention to what people are doing around us. We need to start questioning the people who permit these experiments and investigate their true purpose. Because no matter how harmless something is said to be, there are madmen all around us.